Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to create your own game. Today I will be using code.org and we will be creating a dance party. Now I am doing the one that has no instructions, so I'm doing it all by myself, but I will be here to guide you the whole time. Um, I love to code, I love to do Hour of Code and code.org and all these things. I have made a couple of dance parties before. And so I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. It's really fun. Very simple. Honestly, it doesn't take too long. So this could be a quick video. I don't know. But yeah, so basically you have different dancers and they dance. It's really cool, really funny. So the first thing is here we have songs. So there's a large variety of songs that you can choose from. I'll just pick that one for now. Okay, so the first block that when you come onto here, it will say setup, and that is the block that you must use. So we are going to go into world, which is over here, the first one, and we're going to put our background to whatever we would like. So I'm going to use the set background effect or set background color. Let's do set background color first. And then maybe let's go with this color. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's go with this one. And then we'll go back onto world. And we'll put set background effect. And then you can change it to whatever background effect you want. It is currently on black and white and colors, which looks like this. And just a reminder, this song is Panic at the Disco, High Hopes. So... Basically, it will just change colors to black and white, different types of black and white colors. Functions, but don't worry about that. So we've got that, and you can change the who the color, but we don't want that for now. Yeah, you've got functions and world. Now. You can also set the background effect. This one has rain, so I'll show you. Well, but. Or you could do something like music notes. I like that. on dances and everything you need is here on the sidebar but I'm going to go on dances I'm going to press make a new cat at top and so I'm going to put that into the setup bar and you can change it to whatever you want there's um, about 10 different things you can change them to like aliens and frogs and pineapples I usually put the sloth in the middle but let's go with something Let's go with the dog. Let's see what that'll look like. Alright, that's the dog. I think it's cute. But I don't really want it in the top. So I'm just going to press where it says top. And then change it to wherever I want it. And you also have a button that's random. Which is actually on all of these. But random basically will pick where it will go for you. If you can't decide or you don't want to, it'll pick it for you. Okay, now, oof, my voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have a look now. I like to put mine in the center of the page. I just think <laughs> Um, so I'll go back onto dances, and dances is mainly what you'll be using. And then we press this button that says make, over here, make six new bears in a circle. I'm going to go, oh, let's have a look, maybe five. And I'll keep it to bears, but I don't want it in a circle. I want it in a top row, which will look like this. 
they are very tiny. Now we want the main dancer to have attention, but you can't really see the bears in the background. So we go to, if I can remember where it is. Oh yeah, you go into properties and you press set all size to and it'll say 50. And then you put that there. And as you can see, if you didn't notice, because I didn't explain it, but they're all different colours, not all of them, but like, you know, so each block is different colours, so like world is these colours, properties are these colours, and so on, so it makes it easier, easier to navigate, and so when I finish, if you still need a little bit of help, I'm going to freeze the screen, or you can freeze the screen, and then you can go on to see how it's purple. You'd go into the one that shows purple. So it makes it easier for you to navigate if you're a beginner, beginner. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to set all their size to bigger. So I'm going to set the bears size. You can also change stuff like this. Um, I think I'm going to set this size to maybe 65 because they are pretty tiny. Let's have a look. I said, are they good? I don't think so. So I think we don't have to change the dog's size. But then we're going to go on dances once again. And we're all going to do the all do clap high. And then make sure you're careful because there's the forever button and the once button. This always confuses me so it does take a lot of practice even for me so I'll show you for example I think I'm gonna change the bears because I want something a little cuter maybe unicorns I think the unicorns are cool, but then we have to also adjust other things, like the set bears. I don't have bears anymore, so I need to set it to unicorns. Okay? Let's have a look. Beautiful. And you can also change all to just, for example, just the unicorns could do it. Uh, is doing a different dance which I'll show you now I'll press all and then let's change it to the floss just why not go on to dogs and then <laughs> in sync that's completely up to you and then I'm going to just go through here you can if you go on properties if you go on set all tint 2 which is the blue one if you drag that whoops if you drag that you can change their color I'm going to do yellow and I'm going to change the dog's color let's have a look Okay, I'm not too sure if I'm convinced with that, so I'm going to try to Let's try the unicorns. Maybe the unicorns need some. I think the pink will go well with the unicorns, so let's have a look at that. I don't know, I'm stuck, okay. Maybe we can give them awesome tint. We'll have, let's see, dogs, there we go. Yellow tint. <laughs> All right, we'll just keep it like that. We're gonna go hard. Okay, now, so you've got properties which you can change things. <laughs> Um, so you can change the size, and mostly size sort of things. 
and then events oops um there you go but we don't want that yes we do sorry we do want that okay now you have this button that's on events that says after four measures this button is very very important so this is another it's it's not a button it's like this one where it holds a group of things but very important so let's go where were we on i completely forgot oh my goodness sorry <laughs> After four measures, we'll go in that, and I'll, I'll just move it here to the side. I think this looks pretty good so far, but we don't want them to keep doing the clap high and the floss. So you press after four measures, which is the green one, and you can change it to how many measures you want. If I were you, I, I, <laughs> I would actually change it to seconds because it's easier to work, whereas measures is longer. So let's do after maybe 8 seconds and then we'll go on to dances and then we'll do all do clap high forever and we're doing the forever one. Remember that? Okay. All do it clap high forever and then let's see. Beautiful. And then you basically keep repeating that. So, once again, we go on to events because I keep forgetting. We go on to events and then after, remember to change to seconds, but whatever works best for you. And then I'll do eight seconds each time so it's kind of in sync. And then I'll go to dances and then do the exact same thing. Remember forever. Remember that important part. Okay. But this time I don't want them all to do it. I only want the dog. Let's see. Dog. To do. To, 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 let's do zombie. Forever. And then I'm going to go into events. I remember this time. Go on to after four measures once again. Go on dances and then all do. I don't want them all to do it. I want the unicorns to do. I don't know. There's a random button, so it'll do whatever the computer decides to do. And then let's have a look and see if we need to fix anything up. Um, I forgot something. We need to change this to seconds so it's in sync with everything else. Just eight. Okay, sorry about that. Basically, you keep doing this about another, I'll say you do this about six times to get a nice long good dance and it'll look amazing. So I think I'll keep it here. Um, you guys can screenshot this if you want so you can get an idea. And then I'm going to run it one more time so you can have a look. Okay, beautiful. Now before we finish it, we need to remember to change it. So you press the rename button and let's call it three, whoops, three smelly kids, I need capital letters, what am I doing? Three smelly kids dance 
party and you guys are all invited <laughs> okay well that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely did and i really hope you guys liked it um don't forget to subscribe if you want to hit that post notification button to get notified every time we post a new video and what am i missing hit up that like button check it check out our instagram because we have a lot of really cool photos on there that i think you guys would enjoy we are now posting on there weekly and basically showing you guys what we're doing during quarantine so you guys can go have a look at that stay safe and i'll see you guys next time bye